Hey everybody, it's JD. I hope you enjoy this video. This is my 250 subscriber video. There is a contest at the end, so you want to stay tuned to see what you're going to get and how to enter. Uh, and it's also Marco Jerkovic's birthday today. So, like I did with Delato, let's celebrate 100 with let's celebrate 250 subscribers with Marco Jerkovic. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks. We would be honored if you would join us. We it does put a smile on my face. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in for my 200 subscribers contest and my tri happy birthday tribute to Mr. Marco Jerkovic as well. Uh, today is January 23rd, 2019. So Marco, Marco Jerkovic is one of my favorite artists of all time. Did some of the most iconic covers during the time that comics people were starting to get him back into them around 2010, 2011. He started in 2006 and now he's actually done a lot of stuff very recently, which is very cool after a two year hiatus. Marco is an art chainsaw of skull-ripping, bone-shredding, self-taught talent. I mean, he looked at, look at these X-Men. This is the first cover he's ever done, and he brought it back to the old-school style. The X-Men was his first step in his, in his career at Marvel. He brought nostalgia completely back to the characters. Marco took abstraction and modernism and made it an effective art form for comics, creating atmosphere, depth, and With Blade, no matter how cruel and vicious they seem, these covers are, there's humor in every one of them. Look carefully, Spidey's trying to bite Blade back. Humorous. <coughs> great cover right there the Thunderbolts, one of the great series. His most iconic early run was definitely his work on Daredevil. Uh, it's considered fine art museum, something even probably Wilson Fisk would buy. Check those out when you can. Hulk would, when he did the Hulk run, he did a few covers there, and they just had so much depth in the face, he was, you just realized he was going places. Then he got his first number one variant, and it was, ended up becoming the Heroic Age. Uh, Super Soldier. Some great Death of Dracula in one shot, a great book for the most recent right there, great cover. He actually got the honor of doing all the 70th year anniversary covers, and here he is with the Human Torch, but he did all of them. I think there's a dozen. Then he did an anniversary variant of issues of the 500th issue of Iron Man. And then I'm going to get into his Thor stuff in a little bit. And of course he did the whole Civil War one. Currently he's doing all the Fantastic Four. Hey everybody, welcome to part two of my Marco Jerkovich video. And remember, stay tuned to the end because I do have that contest to do a giveaway for my 250 subs. So this is the book you saw in the beginning there, the Marco Jerkovich, the art of Marco Jerkovich. And this was done literally after five years of being in comics. They made an entire book on this. And the quotes from inside from Joe Quesada and everybody and everybody reading about it and talking is uh, he changed the game. And if you were think about it, he was the start of what eventually became Lucio Perillo, Gabriel Delato, and a bunch of the European and um, I can't really mention Mateen anymore, I guess. But he got fired. Well, anyway, um, so let me show you some more covers. And I'm going to have Thor in between everything so I don't do Thor all at one time. Let's start with him. This is one of my favorite Thors he did. This is probably, I think, the earliest one he did, his annual one. And it's kind of like you could just picture him. It's almost like he's crossing the Delaware there, you know, like that Washington famous pose. It's just classic good artwork he's and he's such a study of art but he's untrained Marco he, he was never never took an art class um, part of the 70th anniversary series that was done for the 70 years of Marvel Comics this was also the Thor version it's actually a Hercules book but it's a Thor cover right there um, great homage to Avengers number four here he did Mighty Avengers number 12 as the scrolls as everybody's a scroll including subby and the uh, subby up top over there and look at that beautiful cover um, Some more Gabriel Delato here throwing another Thor right there One of my favorite my favorite Thor cover of the modern era is this one I think I've mentioned this before that um, this is one that I've I'm, I'm my goal is to get it signed by him um, It's one maybe one day he, he's he disappears for quite some time um, But this is another great one here. This is kind of tells what year it's from this is Thor with an iPod, and uh, the headphones are actually into the helmet, so my guess is to you, and this will be part of the contest here, is um, I'll show you this at the end of it, and uh, it's part of the contest, so we'll get into that. Next one here is Thor 601, 
uh, the beautiful Asgard. This is actually the cover inside of a Thor storyline book. Um, this was rated the beautiful covers. Kind of look at that cape just flowing. As if he's flying, but it's just Asgard in the background right there. Um, he did the first variant edition of uh, the Eternals. And the reason I'm going to show this book is because uh, I do... I'm going to repeat myself on this one. I do think if they use any Eternal storyline that would go with the current MCU format, this is it. Okay? I think it's the third volume. It's not the Neil Gaiman one, but they could have used the Gaiman. Look at this cover. Look at this. Is that not awesome? X-Men 1 variant. Another. He is a Captain America from the 70, 70th anniversary. Marco Djurkovic. Really good. I'll show you some slab ones in a little bit here. Here's the one that is great because this is the uniform. You know, you recognize these costumes from the movie Winter Soldier. And you can see this is actually before the first Avenger came out. And this was the costumes that they ended up using. Uh, here's that Spider-Man. And I, I, again, I reiterate that before there was a Delato or anybody else, this is who it was. I mean, it was Marco Djurkovic. And here's a very modern captain. This is the Captain America 1 from this year. Or maybe the end of last year, sorry. 2018. Look at that. Very cool. Uh, my The cover that kind of technically didn't start at all, but when I got this one, combined that with the Thor, and I said, he can't be doing my the, my favorite villain and my favorite hero at the same time, is it? And this is before Thanos Rising 1, by the way. This is prior to most people knowing who Thanos was outside of the Silver Surfer fans and uh, I don't even know if Avengers... I don't think Avengers hit when that came out. Maybe around that time. His beautiful Venom. It's Spidey right there. Black and white cover. But it's actually a gray tone. Very cool. Here's a nice... I talked about the Daredevil run being fine art. I recommend everybody just look at some of this Daredevil work that he did. But the, the Daredevil work that he did is mind-blowingly amazing. And this is kind of... Uh, if you've never seen this poster at L LCS... There's actually a painting. The painting of this is signed by Stan Lee, and I don't know why that was, but the actual artwork itself, Stan Lee signed it and loved it. I mean, this that's a beautiful... This is number 500 of Daredevil. Think about it. He did 500 Daredevil, 500 Iron Man, 600 Thor. At a time when variants were brand new, he was doing the regular covers too. But he did do Avengers Variant Edition, what's called the Gatefold Variant Edition. If you think three folds are good, only thing that's better than three folds, four folds. Let's look at the Avengers. Let's just go right down the line. Here's your cast of characters right here. And I know it's going to gloss and it's going to be hard to see, but uh, if there's anybody you don't recognize there, it's just really good stuff. Beautiful. Let's show the top of that again so you can make sure you get that Thor in there. Beautiful job, Marco. Uh, he did a wraparound cover here. This is a great Thor. This is Thor number 600. I was mentioned a little while ago. Here's a the Hood, which is this is one of my favorites right here, is the Hood series. This is part of that Dark Reign. It's another short little series run kind of having to deal with the Dark Avengers. Um, and this was the Dark Reign. And this has got some Moonstone, Hood, Ares, um, uh a bullseye is Hawkeye. It's just really cool on the hood. And you see up who's top up there. Dormammu possesses the hood. And you have to find out who the hood is. I'm not going to tell you. Here's, I've shown this before, an homage to the uh, Herb Trimpey Hulk. This is Wolverine, the best there is, variant edition uh, incentive. And he was the main incentive, like the hearted, like the 1 in 25s back before they did 1 in 100s. He was the main one right there. Look at this one. Jeffrey Comic Con, look at that Hulk. He did the entire Civil War II series, the main covers, and there's one or two he does a variant of the main cover on there. And then I'm going to end it with this Thor, Man of War. Look at that. Very cool. Let's show some slabs, and then I will get into what the contest is. Because there's some good stuff. That was nice. So one of the slabs I'm going to show you here is uh, one of the books that I thought was going to be really cool was prior to, um, this was a year after the Avengers movie came out, the first one, before Ad Ad uh, Ultron was announced. This is the Ultron that Djurkovic drew. And if you see, that's very similar to what Ultron looks like in the film. But also, during this time, the Age of Ultron series, pretty good series, pretty good run. I'm actually going to say that uh, Bendis 
uh, Bendis and um, uh, Marco Jerkovich worked a lot together along with Mike Diodato Jr., who I'm a big fan of all three of them, and they worked really well together, and you'll see them, all three of them, again real soon. Um, of the Infinity Run, which was done in 13 as well, he did this cover, and this is a wrap. This is just, I, I can't, I'm just going to show it. And I'm going to try to avoid the glare as much as possible. There is so much involved with this. Depth. And, you know, cap in the middle, the shield, the Thor on there, Black Bolt. You've got Planet Hulk down here. I mean, this is the images that were put on many books later on were taken from this. And it's a, it was an incentive. I think this is the 1 in 200 variant. Um, Marco Jerkovich variant cover. Um, I have a signed... Marco Jerkovich book from the Dark Avengers, which is popular now because I know the film's been talked about. This is the variant edition. This is the one in 50 variant. And this is the Iron Patriot there. And the Iron Patriot, the guy behind there, is uh, Norman Osborn. It's really cool. And of course, this again is signed by Diod Mike Diodato Jr. And here you've got Brian Michael Bendis. And of course, Marco Jerkovich down here. My final Marco Jerkovich piece I'm going to get to before I get to the quiz, Happy Birthday, is an original art I had done. And Avengers Invaders, if you don't know, it combines the 1940s um, characters uh, in Marvel and versus today. And Avengers Invaders was just really good. And this is a series I believe it came out in 7, right? Oh, 2008. Um, well, anyway... Um, I wanted a vintage cap look, and that's just a, a great look by him. And this didn't take him that long to do, and it was, it is amazing how he can do it. I mean, literally, I'm going to say that he was, he, he was, a, he's a magician more than an artist, the way he can take a blank piece, a blank canvas, and, and do this. Um, my appreciation of the artists and stuff like that continues. Uh, I will do another artist one more time, but I don't break it down like Alec. I'm never going to do it like I'm just going to show you my opinions of everything there. Now let's get to the contest. Real simple. Like, subscribe. Get other subscribers if you want. That's fine. I have up to 250, which is 150, 195 probably more than I ever thought I'd ever get. And it's my sixth month anniversary of doing v videos as well. Uh, I want to know what song Thor is listening to as a joke. I mean, it, I don't, they, they don't tell you in the book. I can tell you that. Um, make me laugh. Tell each other. Tell us what song Thor is listening to that would make him have that reaction. And it's his iPod, so it can't be anything too recent. I mean, it can't be anything real recent. So think of the year. Uh, I think uh, you got to start at about 2000, let's say 2010, around then. I'll let you do that. Cause that, looks like, that could be a video iPod. Um, and what do you win? Okay. Like, subscribe. I'm going to do the thing where you do the random numbers. Liz is going to pull that for me. And I'm going to throw out 10 books here. And the first book you're going to get, and all these books have something to do with my videos I've done and I've gotten subscribers on or somebody's commented on. First one you're going to get is from today's video. You're going to get the one shot Man of uh, Thor, Man, Man in War with Odin versus Thor cover. It's actually a one shot, so you can read it and its entirety. And it's in, up, up, down, no continuation. Great, good story. That's the first book you're going to get. Second book you're going to get, let's see. Second book is going to be, oh, we'll save on that one. We're going to issue a, one of my two villain ones here, but this is not Lady Death, that's Venomized Lady Death. You're going to get the Thanos number, what is this, number, volume two, number 11, cover B. The uh, Venomized Death cover. You're going to get that. That's the second book. Two. You're going to get another Thanos, because we did a lot of stories on Thanos. You're going to get the 16. And the reason why this is, you're going to have a Galactus there. And if you know whose hand that is up here, that's my buddy, Norn Rad. Let's bring it back a little bit. You're going to get a Defenders number four. I talk about the Defenders as one of my fav favorite series. And this is a really cool one. This is the fifth of the series. Um... Yes, the original. This is probably uh, VG plus, uh, no, fine, fine plus uh, book. It's only marks are right here, but it's a beautiful book and it's a good storyline. The reason for, for five is you got to be seeing the love right there too. In addition, 
We're going to be giving away a Venom 1. If you notice on any of my thing, I've done some Venom 1 covers. I'm going to give away the Young Guns variant. Mint condition, untouched, unblemished. Uh, I don't see many marks on this at all. Uh, Aaron Cutter variant. You are going to get a After Busema. Uh, this is what it's called. You're going to get the Lego Thor God of Thunder number 14. Loki cover. Lego Loki. I got the first Loki this year and I did a video on that and an unboxing. And then you got some Buseema love in there and it's a Thor. So kind of goes with some stuff I did this year. Videos this year I did. I started off everything on Norinrad Surf Shop. First video I ever did, which I'm going to do something from Matty Th Thanatos's, is to redo. This is Silver Surfer number one, volume, volume two number one. There is no number two. So this is the only one of that bunch. And I... I dare it's in the nines I'm not giving it a nine eight but it's it's nice um, it's actually hasn't I will replace the poly bag with a mylar um, I promise I just didn't want to handle it because I didn't realize it was in that good condition good it's a giveaway you get that too I did a, a Thor versus heroes cover uh, whole routine and I did a Nova so let's give you Nova number four, first appearance of the Corruptor, Thor versus Nova. Very cool. The Human Rocket versus Thor. Richard Ryder, by the way. There you go. Let's do another Thor versus Heroes cover. And in a tribute to my TJ Watson, his favorite character is Daredevil. I'm giving away Daredevil 30. Yes, of the original series, 12 Center, Silver Age, Daredevil 30. Not in the best condition. I'm going to be honest with you. If it was, uh, I have a nine slab. This is nowhere near that, but it is still a nice cover. It has one mark. You can probably see it right here. One mark, but other than that, it was a crease. This was my book, so I've had this for many years, and I'm and I want to share this on to you, you guys. It's a cool cover. I think you might like it. First time they actually appear each other. And to finish all off. I had to do a Silver Surfer 4 cover on it, and I found a Thanos 17 Silver Surfer Skyrider the size, variant edition, and you have a Thanos, a Silver Surfer, Amish the Silver Surfer 4, a Ghost Rider, all in one. So, there, so 10 bucks. So, once again, you'll get a Thanos 17, a Daredevil 30, a Nova number 4, a Silver Surfer number 1 from 1982, volume 2, a god of thunder thor god of thunder which is kind of a combination of just the thor covers and everything else and a loki opening number 14 lego variant a venom one alan kudor young guns variant a defenders number five some love there thanos 16 first return of this guy another venom cover of Venomized Death kissing Thanos and you're going to get one that I showed today on Man of War Thor versus Odin one shot you'll be getting all of these books all 10 of these books all you have to do like be a subscriber and tell me again what is on Thor's iPod that he's listening to as he's jamming out or he might be going to the gym could be coming home from the gym Everybody's got different songs for things. Just tell me the song that you think is on there. And the, and I'm just going to do it right randomly, but you got to do a song title. So that'll be fun. There you go. That's it. Thanks again for the 250 subscribers. And I'm done. Have a great one. Thanks, everybody.